Grand Rising folks. It's Saturday morning about 6 10 a.m. The temp outside in the burbs of Houston is 33 degrees. A very chilly 33 33 degrees this morning. And the high is going to be, I think, 55. But this will be the last cool day for a while. If not the last cool day for the year, hopefully. Because next week we're going to be in the high 70s and we're going to even hit 80. So we'll, we'll see. What you're looking at is my latest DIY project. This mini aquaponic system that I built. Um, and it's going well. And there's a tank. We're going to spin around here. Because what we have in the tank is, is bluegill. We have baby bluegill in this tank. And I'm going to see if I can get up close so you can see them. There they go, swimming around. These are baby bluegill that I'm raising in this tank. And that tank's about, it's about 40 gallons. Spin back around here. I built these light poles again. I do all my own stuff. Um, I built this light pole to hang my LED lights. I built these out. Everything's built out of PVC. So, and these are my first starter plants that are doing well. And I'm testing out different uh, grow media. Um, I'm using plugs and I'm using uh, uh, some other uh, uh, grow media there and comparing the two as far as how the plants respond. I'll do an update on this. I have to add another, I'm gonna add another light for the middle here. So when I start planting more in here, so far, so good. Good so far, I should say. So until next time, this shows you you can grow food indoors. I'm, I'm getting more into, uh, like I was saying before, I'm getting more into aquaponics and using technology to grow food and so forth. I'm venturing more into that. And uh, it's just something that I have a knack for and I enjoy. So, because we're getting to the point to where as climate change continues to go and as we increase technology uh, you're going to see more of this more food being grown in urban environments indoors also so so until next time